Hello and welcome to a new tutorial for XFX 3D Transitions for Final Cut Pro. This is now version 2. We have added to the pack with 10 great new transition plugins and of course this is a free update for all existing customers. These transitions are a great way to add movement to your Final Cut Pro projects and they're easy to use too. You're looking at the promo project which you can load into your own library by clicking on the load demo project button. Each effect has been built in 3D space so you get customizable lighting, highlights and camera angles. You'll find the transitions in the transition browser which you can click on in the middle on the right hand edge or use the key combination Control command 5 Simply drag one of the transitions onto an edit between two clips or select the join and double click on the desired transition in the browser. You can change the duration of the transition by either dragging one of the edges or by using the keys Command D, typing in the desired length and then hitting return. Now for a lot of other transitions that would be it, but with these there's a lot more in the inspector of each, so let's take a look at an example. I'm here in a 4K or UHD timeline in Final Cut Pro 10 and on the timeline or project should I say I've got a few clips and I've added the effect quad open horizontal which gives a nice kind of like book opening in quad panes on there which I rather like that's one of the new effects now for a lot of other plugins that would be it uh, however if we open up the inspector we can see there's a lot more going on actually in this plugin first of all we've got a selection for the top right top left bottom that's the first panel opening so if we go bottom right and then hit play you'll see here this bottom right panel is opening first on there so that's four different styles of effect or variations within one plugin also on here we've got the lighting turned on now what's that mean if you look at the differences in luma between these you can see this is at an angle this pane is at an angle so it's actually reflecting the light in a different direction so it's a bit darker as you'd expect if something was opening but if you don't want to use that just say no lighting and that will make that the same luminance value as the rest but i actually prefer it again to say use lighting it gives it a more realistic look then if we look at the camera controls i've got an angle of view so that's going from kind of like wide angle to flat on there possibly leave it about 50 that's a kind of like good midpoint between the two then depth of field how much blur you want and you can see those edges at the top there they're going really quite soft on there just like a normal camera you can adjust that kind of like the f-stop now if you want to have everything sharp the quickest way to do that is just to hit infinite focus and then everything else will be sharp on there we've also got the option to add reflections and at the moment there's no reflection if i turn that on though you'll be able to see we have this light going across the panel and it should happen on all of the panes if i hit play there you go you can see the reflection running across all of them again try to try and make it a bit more photo realistic uh, but i've got a choice here i can actually push these right up to 100 percent i think we had it about 30 which is about right i think there's options to vary the width and also the angle of the reflection so as you can see lots of controls in the inspector for each plugin and that's how to use xfx 3d transitions in final cut pro 10. thanks for watching lots more coming soon goodbye